Welcome to Sharks in the Arts. I'm Dana Bertel. Here with me is Dr. Bill Adams, NSU professor and program director of music and theater. Welcome, Dr. Adams. You know, you can call me Bill. Most of my students do. All right. Hi, Bill. <laughs> nice to be here. Thank you. What is a peace concert? The Peace Concert was first given in 2007 at the Miniachi. I had just been hired here at NOVA. And in South Florida, we have such a, a collage of different cultures down here that we wanted to do something which represented a bunch of different people. So the, the idea came up, Peace Concert. So of course, we do songs like Imagine and We Are the World. We're featuring at the Peace Concert this semester. But this is the first time since COVID that we've gotten a chance to work with the Mako Band. And so it is a broad concert of music and uh, choir, the Bossa Nova Chorale, and the Mako Band, and little ensembles. And I think Shark Gold is also performing with us. And it's on December the 1st at 7.30 in the Performance Theater. Downstairs and it's free. What can the audience expect to see at the Peace Concert? They're going to hear some songs that they know. Oh, we also have a special guest. I think that's an important thing to remember. Marvin Larby is a pharmacology student, a PhD student at NOVA, and he is from Ghana, and he's going to be playing percussion from Ghana, and he's also going to be accompanying the choir while we do a song called Amani, which means peace in Swahili. Will there be a specific theme for the peace concert? Peace. Peace. What does peace mean to you? Peace means... Peace. <laughs> <laughs> in our world today. It's important for us to come together and enjoy music, which brings people together for the purpose of just enjoying music and communing with each other. And so it's really a message to the world is so that we, what we can accomplish together if we set our minds to it and focus and listen to each other and hear what other people have to say. Um, that's really the intention of it. How do you feel about integrating the Mako Band into the Peace Concert? Well, it's challenging because the Mako Band has some loud instruments. And my singers, the choir typically is not really very loud, so we have some challenges to try to figure out how to get the balance to work between loud brass instruments and even a large piano, and then singers who don't necessarily make that much sound. And so that's a challenge for our music majors to try to figure out, well, how do you present this? And so that's another complication because we're in a space upstairs, which is not the actual theater that we'll be performing in. So we have to imagine what it's like and use our ears and the equipment that we have and then move it downstairs and hope that it, you know, travels in a 200 seat theater versus a room which is smaller than that. So there's some challenges. What is happening next semester? Next semester, we're going to kick off the semester with the Improv Jam. I think it's the 15th or 16th Improv Jam that we've done. And at that is a fantastic event that we're having for alums, all of alums from all of the performing and visual arts, uh, to um, launch the Mark Lindsay Duncan Legacy Endowment for the Arts campaign, which is an endowment to support student and student efforts, which leads into what's happening in the spring. It's all about student work in the, sp in the spring. There's the art student exhibition, there's student choreography, stage two is presenting uh, an original work, I think it's Disney themed, um, a whole bunch of exciting things, but again, it's driven by students in the, in the winter semester. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. This has been Sharks in the Arts. I'm Dana Bertel. See you next time.